Alrighty guys, welcome back to Geek Tech, and today we're going to be covering... Skyrim, the HD special edition trailer that was shown at E3, because we need to. Um, <laughs> this shit's important, man. Yeah, man, if you love Skyrim, it's going to be cool that you can have it in full extra HD overhauled, because, I mean, you could technically do it now, if you're deep, deep deep within the mods but just to have it run and be optimized with you know HD will be awesome so yeah without further ado let me know man when we're ready to jump in alright so I'm gonna watch this trailer the they announced this at E3 for 2016 obviously yep. I'll tell you I've, I've, I've seen the trailer already and the remastering that they have done is Gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Looks good. But without further uh, to do, let's get into this. Yeah. Do it. Starting so, off with the PlayStation Three version. PlayStation Three looks pretty good, um, but the PlayStation Four punches you in the dick. Way poppier colors. It's Xbox 360, then Xbox One. Beautiful. The fact Mental. that you can see the change. They they did a really good job doing that, I think. Showing the difference between the old version and the new version. Oh, absolutely. I am so excited to play this game. I'm a big Skyrim fan. Yep. Cannot wait to remake my, uh, my Wood Elf Archer. With off Ranger. Uh, I mean, I have to go kick it old school and hit it with the Nords, bro. Ah. So, what do you think? It's short, it's sweet, and it's to the point. I mean, they're showing you, hey, we've got mod support on console. Hey, we've got all updated visuals. Really, there's like... It looks good. I. I it I, looks great. Yeah. Um... I'm I'm really excited. Beautiful. The, the remakes are beautiful. I've I've played a lot of the mods on PC, and played around with the remakes there. And the fact that they're making this standard. Oh, absolutely. That you're getting you're getting top notch visuals from the studio. You know, fully integrated, like straight up, is good. I like it. I'm a, I'm a fan. I will be picking it up. Hopefully, it's not sixty dollars, but we'll see. You know? Yeah, we'll definitely, I mean, we'll definitely have to take a. This is, this is a definite, a definite. Do we do we have a release date? Um, did they announce a release date? All right, guys. So we have we have a release date and we have a price for Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, it'll be releasing 10 28 2016 for fifty nine ninety nine. Um, hopefully this will have the mods or the DLC included. Uh, which, I mean, it better, because if they're gonna expect you to buy the DLC, that's a bit of a bit of a rip. And we're gonna head it over to Draco, who should be able to tell you a little more. Um, what we're gonna do, guys, is we have found links to do the pre-orders at GameStop. So we're gonna go ahead and chuck down a couple links down there for you. The special edition will have all the DLC as well. The special edition is going to have all the DLC. Good, because I don't want to have to pay for that shit again. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry, I had to do a little bit of reading, guys. No, that's that's fine, man. Appreciate you covering it. So we're going to we're gonna chuck in a couple links in the description for you first uh, to get the pre-order set up through GameStop. Um, we don't need any credit for that. We're just nope. trying to help you guys out. Yep. At this current time, it does not look like Steam has a pre-order available, mm -hmm. but if we do see one, we'll edit the description later for you guys to help you out, but what was your favorite part of Skyrim? Tell me. My favorite part? Yeah, I want to know. Uh, I love the dragons. Uh, my favorite part of all of Skyrim, I'm a big fan of Parthenax. Parthenax. Yeah, right. man. I mean teacher of the gray beards so you know <laughs> neck beard ho i guess even though i 
But no, like like I was saying, I would have to agree with you. The dragons in Skyrim are pretty are pretty cool. I liked personally the crafting system. We're big supporters of Bethesda. We're big supporters of Skyrim. So, what do you think about the crafting system? Did you ever get into in it? in Skyrim? In Skyrim, yeah. Um, I mean, it was cool. I wish that they would have made it a little more monotonous. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I, I I like a little monotony every once in a while. You know what I mean? So what was your favorite city? What was your favorite city in Skyrim? In Skyrim? Yeah. My favorite city? Uh, shit. Uh, Riven, Rivendell? Riven? River? Ah, oh, fuck. I can't remember the name of it. It starts with River. The Thieves Sound. Rivendell? No, it's not Rivendell. Because I think that has to do with... Lord of the Rings, if I'm not That's mistaken. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Riften is my favorite city. I like how CD and Underworld it is. I like um, Winterhold. Winterhold, okay. Yeah. Because, you know, Mage's College, I think that's in Winterhold. The city located in the northeast part of the map, actually. And yes, yes that is where the, ma the Mage's College is. See, I vaguely remember... I haven't played this in quite some time. I haven't yeah. played it in a bit either, and I'm getting to the point where I want to play it again already. Yeah, so and I don't own it. Yeah, I don't own a copy of it anymore. I have a copy of it for the 360. I don't. Um, I've actually been complaining since I got my Xbox One that I should be able to play this on my Xbox One. You should be able to. Prayers answered, I guess. You should already be able to on your Xbox One. I'll have to give it a go. They have backwards compatibility, dude. Yeah, but it's not for every title. This has to be a title that they've done it for. You would think. We shall see. It, it has to be. If not, there will be anger. Oh, the anger. <laughs> Either way, if I had to pick a village that I liked, I would have to say... Um... Dawnstar. Dawnstar? I like Dawnstar. You like the little museum up there, I guess? It's it's quiet, it's quaint, it's out of the way of everything, but it's still a city. It's also got the uh, the hand headquarters there, the ancient hand headquarters. Yeah, the ancient hand is headquarters. Uh, the ancient hand headquarters is there, and it is also home of the first glitch anybody in Skyrim actually used. What glitch is that? The um, accessing the chest that involved the lady's inventory. You could take all the stuff from her and then go back and sell it to her. You've never seen this glitch before? No, I can't say that I have. Oh, man. I've seen interesting glitches from the ver the version 1.0 where you could literally take a bowl and, cl and clip through walls and stuff, which is pretty cool, but... So which uh, which guild did you join? Guaranteed to join. I know you could get a, get away with joining all of them. I was like all of them. <laughs> but but which which guild was like your first major go to guild? Thieves guild. Thieves guild. Yeah. I was uh, I was partial I, to the Dark I'm Brotherhood a, myself. Dark Brotherhood, man. Uh, see, that's the hand. That's what I was talking about. Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. The Dark Brotherhood. The ancient uh, Dark Brotherhood outpost is in. Um, Dawnstar. Yes. But you have to do the Thieves Guild stuff a little bit to get into Dark Brotherhood, I think. Like, it it just seems like a natural progression to me. Be a thief to be an assassin. Oh, sure. Yeah. But I always join the uh, the Thieves Guild because I'm a dirty thieving fecker. <laughs> 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 I have to steal from everyone. And they better keep the mechanic where I can stick a bucket on someone's head and rob them. <laughs> yeah. these are important mechanics it is man I don't know if like how much how much thieving you've done in, in the scrim but I've done quite a bit I've, I've done quite a bit yeah but any hoozles I guess that'll wrap it up for this yeah so that, that is, pretty much covers it uh, if you guys liked what you watched Please hit us, give us a like, and let us know what you think in the comments. 
Again, we have a little thing going on at the moment where we're going to pick someone from our comments across the videos from here and give them a shout out on the channel and possibly shoot them a t-shirt, um, more than likely. <laughs> Um, and if you guys want to see more, stick around. Bye. See you later, guys. <laughs>